Hello and welcome, we're at the track with the Sport of Kings. Coming up, lots of exciting action. A fifth derby win in Jamaica for champion trainer Wayne Acosta. The favorite wins the feature event in Trinidad and Tobago. We preview the Midsummer Classic in Barbados and the Governor General's Cup in Antigua and Barbuda. More stakes wins for Caribbean riders in North America and a prestigious award in Canada for the Barbadian rider Quincy Welsh. Our first story, the main one coming from the Cal's Jamaica Derby at Caymanus Park. The betting odds would be a fairly good indicator to the outcome. Number five, the Lotto Classic upset winner Kronos backed at 4-1. to one. He ended up as a third choice in the betting. Number six, Poker Star at 10-1 to one after a third place finish in the Lotto Classic. Alibaba, the 2000 Guinness winner. The 8-5 to five favorite with leading jockey Robert Halladine aboard. Number 11 is Alibaba's stablemate in the Wayne Costa barn. Second in both the Guinness and the Lotto Classic, Seeking My Dream. A 5-2 to two second favorite after glowing reports from exercise gallery. Good support in the betting too for Barbadian. Elas salutes number 13, Siempre Bueno at 5 to 1. Now here's how Bran Rickman saw them heading for the home stretch. As they now drive away toward the final 316th, and it is Poker Star who has that lead. Here now is Seeking My Dream. He has quickened impressively and Seeking My Dream, a well timed run. Alibaba will try to get him as they make the way now, rushing past the final. 5 16th in the derby they'll come into the lane and it is seeking my dream with the lead alibaba now pouncing on the outside alibaba on the outside seeking my dream in the green silks they battled as they flash past the 3 16th further back to super luminal Cronus has a lot to do from there poker star can't win it's seeking my dream inside the final furlong who holds the advantage alibaba looks to be faltering and seeking my dream begins to pour it on inside the final 16th it's seeking my dream with the advantage coming away seeking my dream wins the derby over Alibaba then Cronus sired by seeking the glory out of Triple Crown winner Al Safra seeking my dream much the best here and four-time champion jockey Omar Walker finally secures a derby victory after years of trying a confident ride and in the end unchallenged well it's a great feeling and it's my first derby and I have to thank the trainer and the one of them for you know giving back the ride and I get to know this horse by working him in the morning, so me and him become one, so I get to understand him and we like to run, so I was, I was pretty confident today. Seeking my dream, the second choice in the betting scores ahead of the 8-5 to five favorite Alibaba with Cronus third, 2 minutes 37.80 seconds, the winning time for the marathon 12 furlong run, the victory margin 4.5 lengths for owner Derek Smith and trainer Da Costa, who told me he is not surprised Seeking my dream defeated his more fancied stablemate. Alibaba basically... He's from a sprinting line. His mother basically was a seven furlong or six, seven furlong horse. We are seeking my dream. Basically, it's where to go along. His mother won the triple crown. So, I mean, it was, and he was also peaking at the right time. He had worked twice before the um, derby and he had beat Alibaba on both occasions. So, the, the right was on the wall. Talk to me about a story that we got that seeking my dream appeared to have had some was unsettled by the crowd noise in, in the home stretch in the Guinness and the Lotto Classic when he was runner-up and you had to take some remedial action there. He always he was, was pricking his ears and showing that he, he didn't want to go anymore. So we didn't want to take drastic action right away because sometimes you do it and it just doesn't work out. So after, after the, the Lotto Classic we decided well, we, have to, we have to try something and we just cocked his ears and he seemed to have done a trick. The July 4 St. Leisure is seeking my dream's next target. At TNT Santa Rosa Park, no trouble for the favorite Secret American in the Race 8 feature. Surging through in the home stretch for the win. Watched from the Combox by Eddie Arnaud. As they come to the head of the home stretch, and Secret American now kicks on. Secret American opens up by a length. Slew Jero had absolutely no answer and is starting to wilt. Back in third is Enzo. This one is running on under new balls. But Secret American is looking good with 50 meters to go. Secret American will go on and give Wilma Galvez his third score of the day. Secret American. Confidently ridden by Wilmer Galvez, Secret American gets the win as the 6-5 favorite in the three-year-old and over event for horses rated 90-60. to 60. 1 minute 36.60 seconds, the winning time going eight furlongs for winning trainer Glenn Mendez and owner Steve Samaru. In Barbados, the second leg of the Triple Crown Series, the Pinnacle Feeds Midsummer Creole Classic. All eyes this Saturday will be on the outstanding Philip Poetic license, trying to stay on course for the Triple Crown. Seen here coasting to an easy win in the Guinness. 
but she could find the cold summer again a tough nut to crack. Summer again advertising his quality here with a seven and three quarter length victory last month in the Godmother's Handicap. Ten horses entered for the nine furlong midsummer at the Garrison Savannah Turf with a purse including subscription fees of US $31,500. The Guinness runner-up, Donico Did It, is in the one box. William Clark's Summer Again number two will be ridden by Jalon Samuel. The favorite, the Mount of Ricky Walcott, Poetic License, is number five, the highest rated in the field with a 70 index from champion trainer Victor Cheeseman's barn. And on the outside, joint second highest rated in the field, the nine horse, Mark Armstrong's This Means War, and 10, Andrew Nunes's Shush, both with 59 index ratings. This weekend in Antigua and Barbuda, the top racer Demolition Man is poised to complete the country's first ever Triple Crown success at Casada Gardens Racetrack. Judging from the commanding wins in the Black Pineapple Stakes and the Sir Catherine Lake Super Sprint earlier this year, the US bred Demolition Man is a good bet for the Governor General's Cup this Sunday. The post position draw gave him the number four box. Other contenders include number one Countess Liamsburg, considered the island's best sprinter. Three additional assets, second in this event last year. Number five, nothing personal, the 2012 and 2013 Antigua and Barbuda Horse of the Year gets his first start this year. And number six, feature attraction with one win from three starts so far this year. Now for those two massive wins at famous US racetracks for Jamaican riders, Sean Bridgemahan at Churchill Downs and Rajiv Mirage at New York's Belmont Racetrack. Let's head first to Kentucky, the Churchill Downs and the Stephen Foster Stakes won by Bridge Mahan aboard Noble Bird. Noble Bird has taken over, but Lee is moving into second now and chasing Noble Bird to the quarter pole. Two lengths farther back, Opportunity rolls up to be third. Pagano gives it up. Commissioner Cap Burglar, Majestic Harbor cuts the corner off the turn, but it's Noble Bird. Noble Bird has kicked away the lead by two, but Lee is trying to close on the outside, and Lee is closing a length and a half behind. Furlong to go, but Noble Bird is digging in. Lee's trying to get by with ground to make up. Opportunity third, down to the wire. Noble Bird. Lee, one final try, down to the finish, Noble Bird, Lee, here's the wire, Noble Bird, fantastic in the Foster. A substantial US $500,000 purse for the grade one Stephen Foster stakes and a super ride by Bridge Mahan to get the narrow win by a neck at odds of 9-2, to two, edging the 2-1 to one favorite Leah. Noble Bird stopped the clock at 147.94 for Canada's champion trainer Mark Cassie, whose son Norman Cassie conditions his Kentucky-based horses. With this win, by the way, Noble Bird gets an automatic spot into the $5 million Breeders' Cup Classic in October. And here's how Rajiv Mirage landed Belmont's wild applause takes with Celestine. Is right alongside of Celestine. These two turn for home together. Angela Renee is next. Stormy Regatta is right behind them. Partisan politics swings up on the far outside. And Civil Yair. And they charge into the final furlong in pursuit of Celestine. Here's partisan politics. Ranging up alongside. Stormy Regatta is third. It's down to Celestine. And partisan politics. And the two of them come to the line. And it's going to be Celestine. Mirage's bustling ride takes the 75 favorite Celestine home for her fourth consecutive victory, fending off the fast finishing partisan politics in the wild applause on the Belmont turf. The official winning margin a nose and the time 134.18 for eight furlongs. Before we go, the story of a huge honor for the Barbadian jockey Quincy Welsh for his multiple successes in Canada. He's been named winner of the 2015 Avelina Gomez Memorial Award. After arriving in Canada in 1997, Welch became really prolific, reeling off a flurry of jockeys' championship wins at Northlands Park in Edmonton and Stampede Park in Calgary. And the Avelina Gomez Award honors jockeys for outstanding service to Canadian racing. Now 36 years old, Welch was champion at the now defunct Stampede Park seven times unbroken between 2002 and 2008 and copped six Northlands Park titles between 1999 and 2008. Welch becomes the fifth Caribbean jockey to claim the Avelina Gomez Award after TNT's Richard Dos Ramos, the first in 2002, and Emil Ram Sami, Jamaican George Ho Sang, and Barbadian Patrick Husbands. We've been at the track covering top stories in the sport of kings. Check us out again next week.